The Air TV News broadcast crew and I, Delete Sahai, are now ready for your daily news briefing at 10.30 local time. But first, let us catch up with the major headlines. Meeting conducted con to control three locust invasion in Kashbarka. Commandable soil and water conservation activities conducted across the nation. NATO urged its members to step up a military aid to Ukraine aimed protest. And flooding disrupts life in eastern Argentina. On our local news, the Ministry of Agriculture branch in Gashbarka region organized a meeting on 14th March in Barantu with a focus of controlling the prevalence of tree locust invasion. Mr. Abubakar Osman, Director General of Agriculture and Land in the region, highlighted that due to the extensive agricultural activities and rich biodiversity in the region, three locust invasion has occasionally occurred in the various parts. He further elaborated on the integrated effort undertaken by the Ministry of Agriculture, partners and members of the Defense Forces to address the invasion. Mr. Aubaker emphasized that the meeting aimed to bolster the integrated effort and enhance the capacity of partners and the public to conduct regular surveillance in their respective areas regarding three locusts and other pests, facilitating timely response. Brigadier General Iyaf Fisaya Halibai, commander of the East Western Command, underscored that controlling locust invasion is part of the daily activities of the Defense Forces and expressed readiness to contribute effectively to the effort. He also urged all partners to increase their participation in the end of war. Speaking at the occasion, Mr. Arafai Neberha, Minister of Agriculture, highlighted the damage tree locusts and migratory pests could inflict in forestry resources and the environment. And he called on regular surveillance and information exchange among concerned institutions to enable prompt response. The Ministry of Agriculture has reported a significant increase of 61% in soil and water conservation efforts across the nation. Mr. Dawit Mabrahtu, the head and soil and water conservation at the Ministry of Agriculture, disclosed that in 2023, soil and water conservation activities covered approximately 26,000 hectares of agricultural lands with the construction of around 5,600 cubic meters of water catchment schemes. Furthermore, Mr. Dawit highlighted the construction of terraces spanning over 8,000 hectares and approximately 113,000 cubic meters of water diversion schemes in hilly areas and grazing lands. Mr. Dawit further noted that construction of 16 micro dams in various regions during 2023, with an additional 42 under construction, praising the active involvement of both the public and the defense forces in this dam construction initiatives. He emphasized that 810 dams constructed nationwide are playing a significant role in supporting the development of vegetable and fruit farming. Additionally, Mr. Dowd expressed satisfaction with the encouraging results observed in agricultural production attributing the, the adoption of improved crops seeds by farmers. The Workers' Vocational Training Center in Masawa has successfully provided three months of vocational training to 48 young individuals. The training conducted in collaboration with the Ministry of Labor and Social Warfare and the National Confederation of Air Train Workers encompassed areas such as metalwork, woodwork and electricity. During the conclusion event held on 15 March, Engineer Akhlilu Asmaram, Deputy Director of the tra Training Center, highlighted the ongoing commitment of the National Confederation of the Eritrean Workers, particularly the Misawa Workers Training Center, in providing vocational training to workers nationwide. Engineer Akhlilu also extended appreciation to all stakeholders for their individual contribution. Mr. Amaha Kidana, Director General of Administration and Finance at the Ministry of Labor and Social Warfare, emphasized the significance of the training and encouraged the trainees to apply their newfound skills, particularly in their respective fields. 
expressing gratitude for the training opportunities provided. The trainees expressed their readiness to actively participate in their national development programs, leveraging the knowledge and the skills they have acquired. The viewers will be back with the international news shortly. So stay tuned. Welcome back. The NATO Secretary General Jens urged NATO members to step up military aid to Ukraine while releasing the organization's annual report for 2023 on Thursday at the Military Alliance headquarters in Brussels, Belgium. According to the report, the Russian Federation is the most significant and direct threat to allies, security and the peace and stability in the Euro-Atlantic areas. Total NATO military spending 2023 is estimated to have been around 1.1 trillion US dollars and defense expenditure in Europe and Canada increasing by an unprecedented 11%. Just a day ahead of the release of the report, some German citizens held a protest in front of the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. The protesters stated that NATO is instigator of the ongoing Russian-Ukraine conflict, which broke out on February 24, 2022, and that NATO actions will only further stock block confrontation, create unnecessary tensions, and pose a serious threat to the conflict affected areas. On our last news. A large area of eastern Argentina was underwater on Friday after heavy rains caused flooding, local media reported. Television footage showed street completely submerged, with locals wading through tie of high water and cars stranded. For some inhabitants in Golanglai, flood waters had invaded their homes, damaging their households, appliance and furniture. Much of Argentina's entire Rios province has been affected by heavy rain, local media reported. The National Meteorological Service is maintaining a yellow alert for possible heavy rain in the region. Dear viewers, we've come to the end of tonight's news. Let's have a quick recap of the times. Meeting conducted to control tree locust invasion in Kashbarka. Commandable soil and water conservation activities conducted are across the nation. NATO urge its members to step up a military aid to Ukraine aimed to protest. and flooding disrupts life in eastern Argentina. That is all with our local and international news viewers. Thanks for watching and have a good night.